Howdy folks, Todd here with Great Escape Farms. Today we are going to talk about plant propagation here at Great Escape Farms and the eight different ways that we propagate plants. So the first way is by seed starting and we do several different things uh, via seed division. That is dividing things up. They have a general crown and they just spread out and we cut off pieces or sections of it, kind of like you would do with a hosta or shown here, stinging nettle. Then we have digging up suckers. Digging up suckers is something that we do with a lot of our cane fruit. The uh, difference between dividing and a sucker is basically a sucker will send out a root underground and it will pop up a number of feet away. It could be four or five feet away. And raspberries are very notorious for that, as are elderberry. Next up is rooting root cuttings. And the main thing that we do root cuttings on is comfrey. So... We have uh, quite a few comfrey around here. We dig up an entire plant and we can make a hundred different plants out of one comfrey just by taking a cutting from the root. Next up is tipping and we do that with the vining cane fruit. So wineberry and vining rat, uh, blackberry and stuff like that. So we just stick the end of it into a pot and it actually goes ahead and roots. Once it's rooted, then we go ahead and cut the vine and we end up with a separate plant there. Up at the top here we have hardwood cuttings and that is cuttings that we take in December, January, February up here in the northern hemisphere. We put them in the ground as they root or as they leaf out in the spring. They send roots down and uh, certain things are very good at rooting out that way. One of which is grapes, another one is blueberry, another one is hardy kiwi. So we do several different things that way. Another thing that we do is softwood cutting and we're going to a softwood cutting in detail in a minute and the last one here is grafting and that's where we take a rootstock and we surgically add on a piece of scion wood up on top so why would i do that well if i have a red delicious apple and i take a cutting from it and i stick it in the ground i could probably get it to root but it could be 60 feet tall. So what I want to do is have it grow to a dwarf size so I can actually harvest the fruit on the top. And it's the rootstock that allows me to do that. So if I have a dwarf rootstock and I graft a certain type like Red Delicious on top, it will make the top part dwarf. That's just one of several different reasons. Let's go ahead and walk down the line here and I'll talk about a couple things in our nursery. So this one right here, this is our nurse tent, if you will. I have a 70% shade cloth across the top, keeps most of the sunshine out. I have various different suckers I dug up here. These are raspberries. Actually, it looks like they're all raspberries in here. I also have some other things. I have a bunch of pawpaws potted up in the back there that like, that like shade when they are seeds and I have a bunch of late grafts. So I was late in the, it's actually summertime right now when I did these grafts, which is very late in the year for doing a graft. So I'm giving them shade until the graft wound heals a little bit and then I'll move them to full sun. These are my seedlings. So I put in 180 some odd flying dragon trifolate orange seeds here. So uh, I just keep them up here in a protected area. You'll notice I have wire around it that prevents any rabbits or anything from coming and eating and digging them up on me. And back here, this is my softwood propagation bed. So what I have are mist heads over here and they will spritz water out for 10 seconds every five minutes and keep the leaves wet. What I do here is I take cuttings off of plants that I want to propagate and I strip off the bottom leaves. I use generally two leaves, generally two to four leaves on the top. I put them in the bed here. The mist will keep them moist so they don't dry out. And I put them in, this is concrete or play sand here, kids play sand, that allows the water to flow right through so that the water doesn't congregate around the roots and cause it to actually rot the roots out. Out. And in anywhere from four to eight weeks, I get roots here. Then I can dig them up and move them to more full sun and let them actually root out real good. And they will go for sale next year. And there goes the mist system right here. You can see the little mist that it's sending out. And that just keeps the leaves very nicely wet here. And all I want is for them to be moist so that they don't dry out. 